Hey everyone, it's been a minute. Today, I'll be showing you my tech everyday carry for 2022. The stuff I bring with me every single day. Okay, so first up, let's talk about my phone. So the phone I'm using is the iPhone 13 Pro Max in white and silver. And after almost six months of using this phone, I don't really have that much to say. And that's a good thing. I've been using a caseless since day one, just a simple screen protector from dbrand on the front, and that's basically it. Like, the sides still look brand new, the back has no scratches, no marks, nothing, and honestly, it just looks like how it did the day I got it. So in terms of durability, the phone has held up extremely well, and that also carries over to the performance and fluidity of this device. After six months, it still feels incredibly fast and smooth, no complaints. No matter what I do on this device, it can always keep up. And I'm still using the custom transforming home screen setup that I showcased in a recent full video, which you can check out at the link in the description to see how I did it and all the apps I used to make this happen. I have my own custom icon pack and the wallpaper is part of my Starfire pack, which you can find as well at the link in the description. What's also really held up here is the camera setup on this device. At this point, I'm super confident with this iPhone's cameras that I can just point and shoot and almost always get the results that I want. Across all three cameras, photos and videos are consistent, beautiful, and I can rely on this phone for taking great shots. And the battery life after all these months is really still quite good. I'm never really too worried about running out of battery midday, it always gets me through a full day of usage. But on those longer days where I know I'm gonna be out for late or if I'm traveling or shooting all day, I bring along these Anchor MagSafe battery packs, which are really quite impressive. Now they're not gonna give you a full zero to 100% charge, especially with this 13 Pro Max, but they are great for topping up your battery throughout the day. Like all you do is just take your phone, push the button on the bottom, slap on the battery, it starts charging. That simple. They're 5,000 milliamp hours, charge up with USB-C, they come in different colors, and they're just way better than the Apple MagSafe battery pack, which is quite expensive and doesn't really give you as much capacity. And what's also really cool about these battery packs is they actually have a stand built in as well, which you can fold out kind of like the iPad folio covers, and you can prop up your phone in landscape or portrait while it's charging. The only thing is these battery packs can be a little bit hard to find at this point as they're almost always sold out across Amazon and even the Anchor website. But I'll leave some links in the description down below and hopefully they're still available. Okay, next up is my Apple Watch. This is the Apple Watch Series 5 ceramic 44 millimeters and I actually made a full video about why I bought this specific Apple watch a few months ago. It's not the latest and greatest, doesn't have all the latest features, but truthfully, I really don't care. I bought this Apple Watch because I just really like it. The whole body of this Apple Watch is ceramic and just looks so clean and pristine and looks good with almost all the bands I own. When this watch was first released a few years ago, I just couldn't justify buying it and also couldn't afford to buy it either. It was just crazy expensive for a smartwatch. But I got a really good deal on it. I'm happy I got it. I use it every single day for running, just wearing it out and about. I love this watch. And like I said, pretty much every band looks good with this watch. My personal favorites are the Sunflower Sport Loop, the Nike Sport Loop in black, and also the white band that comes with this watch if you chose that originally. Okay, next up, let's talk about the headphones I use pretty much every single day. These are the Cos Porta Pros in the Rhythm Beige color. And I'm gonna say it, these are my favorite headphones, I think, of all time. Now, before you start commenting, and I know you're going to, this is my personal preference. I still use other earbuds and other headphones depending on what I'm doing, but if I'm leaving the house like nine out of 10 times, I'm gonna grab the Porta Pros and go out with those. I just really like how they look and sound and the experience is really nice. What really sold me initially was the design and vibe of these headphones. They just look incredible, unlike anything else you can buy today. And at this point, this design is timeless. It's the exact same as when they first came out in the 80s. They haven't changed anything. It's awesome. 
Now the way these headphones look and feel is definitely quite deceiving because they sound incredible. They have a warm, beautiful sound, it's crisp and clear, there's a good amount of bass, the mids and highs are super well balanced, it's a really beautiful sound. And obviously, I'm no audiophile, but people love how these headphones sound. And everything I listen to from hip hop to jazz to indie, alternative, everything sounds great on these headphones. And yeah, I know, they have a cable, you gotta use a dongle, it kinda sucks, but I got over it pretty quickly and I really don't mind it. The best part is though, is these headphones are actually quite affordable as well. And honestly, I have nothing but good things to say about these headphones. I really like them. They're not for everybody, but for me, I use them almost every single day. I usually plug this into my phone for listening to music or into my Walkman. Yes. So I gotta give a huge shout out to my boy Patrick Tommaso, pretty much the only person who can actually influence me to buy really anything. And yes, he's got me buying cassette tapes and this Walkman. So I talked about this concept in my video all about why I still use an iPod. And yes, I use an iPod occasionally as well alongside my Walkman and my phone for listening to music. But the principle kind of remains the same, where I love the idea of physical mediums, tactility, and it doesn't get more tactile than, you know, a Walkman with all these buttons, you gotta switch out tapes. It really is a unique feeling that I truly love. The whole experience from finding tapes at thrift stores or online to popping the tape in, fast forwarding, rewinding, hitting play, it's a truly unique and wonderful experience that is unlike anything else really today, where everything is digital and software based. Playing tapes in this Walkman, listening through these headphones, it's an absolute vibe and everything sounds warm and beautiful and it is such a nice experience. And of course, I still use my second generation iPod quite a bit for listening to music. I have certain tracks on here, certain tracks on tape, certain things on my phone. It's really just an alternating experience depending on what I'm doing that day and what I want to listen to. It's nice to have options. Next up is my wallet. It's honestly nothing too special. It's a $9 metal wallet from Amazon and it's worked for me for over two years at this point. I do have other wallets and card holders I like using, but this is the one I use if I'm carrying the most amount of cards, everything with me all at once, and it works great. You pull down this lever on the bottom, it pops out all the cards, they're easily accessible, it works well for me. I stuck on this tile card tracker on the back with adhesive tape so I can find the wallet if I lose it very easily with the tile app. It's cheap, it works, it holds all my cards, I have no complaints. For holding all my keys, I have this organizer from Orbit Key in this dark blue color, and it also works exceptionally well. It's kind of like a Swiss Army knife. I can easily flip out the keys I need and other little accessories as well that Orbit Key sells. There's a bottle opener, a mirror, a SIM card tool. It's pretty sweet. Next up are my sunglasses from Han Kjobenhaven. I've had these for over two years at this point, and I love them. They're great. No complaints here. Now, of course, I don't carry all these things with me all at once in my pockets because that would be ridiculous. So I usually have a bag with me most days. Depending on the outfit I'm wearing, I alternate between bags. So one of my favorites here is the City Pouch from Bellroy in this kind of sage, off-white, beige color. It has a lot of space, fits everything I need, and it also looks really clean and simple as well. Then we have the City Pouch Plus, also from Bellroy. It's in this all-black colorway. It has plenty of storage space as well, really high-quality zippers, fits everything and more, it's stellar. And on those days where I'm going shopping, I wanna get groceries, bring along my laptop or iPad, I'll toss things into a tote bag like this one from All Cap Studio or this one from mm -hmm. in New York. So that's been a look at my current tech everyday carry for 2022. The stuff I use and bring with me pretty much every single day. Right now, these things make me happy, they're part of my life and I really enjoy using them. And that's it. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe, and thank you for watching.